it's like 90 percent of it um you have to be targeted right and blocking the right people in order for every play to be successful so um yeah there's communication point here point here id here id there so um for us that's a huge key of it Um, I don't think it changes much. I think uh, we've been preparing like the Super Bowl every week. Um, and for us, we know how important one game could mean to this program. Um, every week here is do or die. Um, so I think we treat every week like it's the last week, like uh, mindset today, pre-practice, and a little hype-up speech. Um, you never know when it's going to be the last one, so treat everyone like it's gold. Um, so for us, it's how we approach every game. You say mindset. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, I think that's a huge thing. I think we, they got some great players on that side of the ball, and I think they've been top 10 defensive statistically since 2017. So for us, it's going to be a great feat to go against them, and I think we're excited for the challenge. I think that's something we embrace uh, um, early on season. Of course, we had that Notre Dame team who was exceptional up front, and now we have this team coming in. So um, for us, it's every week. Um, it's just a new challenge that we have to try to um, play up to. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, they uh they definitely gave us a good feel. I mean them, Arkansas State Toledo, they were all pretty good teams. Um, even though sometimes the score didn't reflect that, they were they were all very talented players and good teams. So for us it's just getting better every week. Um the whole key to the season is what we learned is it's what team improves the most week to week. It's not what you did last week, it's how you can get better and improve going into this week. Oh uh, yeah, we thrive off that. Yeah, uh, for us, like we talked about um, last year, I mean, we struggled a little bit in short yardage, and now when we get into those goal line short yard situations, and we get that eye personnel, heavy personnel in there, and we all get excited. We know what we're capable of when we got our hands on somebody and get our legs moving behind us. So for us, it's just a sense of excitement and thrill to be able to be in that formation, be have that coaches have that trust in us that we can get that yard or two that we need. Yeah, I think we have. I think our play has proved that. And um, the situations we've been in, we've been able to be successful. What are the things that stand out to you when you watch Wisconsin defensive front? Um, they do a lot of things. They uh, they know who they are. Um, they know their personnel. They play hard. They play physical. They play fast. So for us, it's just going to be able to match that um, intensity that they bring and um, play hard and play our game. Luke, it seems like Wisconsin wants to bring a lot of pressure and from different spots. How much time have you spent on like previous meetings with them or Jim Leonard? I know you're I know you're watching film, but how extensive is the film that you're looking back at? Um, I the pretty um extensive. I think um I mean they've had the same DC since 2017, so we have a pretty good feel of what they're doing. It's not like Notre Dame where we had to prepare for six, seven different defenses that we were going to maybe possibly see from all the new coaches and what's going to be left over, what's coming in. So for us, um, it's going to be this week a little easier knowing that they kind of have a base of what they do and what they like to do, and we kind of have an idea of what they're going to play and how to defeat it. Oh yeah, this this game is gonna be old-fashioned game. Um, that's gonna be about running the ball and stopping the run. And for us, we thrive off that. I think the D line is excited to have a challenge as a great offensive line coming in here, being able to put their hands on somebody and drive them off the ball. And for us, we're excited to have a great defensive front coming in, being able to use what we love to do and run the ball. So for us, that's uh, it's gonna be an old bomber style type of football game. Yeah, I think uh, any game that you play is another week to get better, another um, team to go against to kind of get a feel of what you're getting good at and what you still need to work on. So for us, um, it's still just a great opportunity to get better. Luke, I'm curious, Last question. Uh, just what sort of how would you grade uh, Justin Fry's job that he's done so far? Um, and just what's his coaching style like? Oh, I think uh, Coach Fry's came in and done a great job. I think um, you look at the way we're playing some of the guys, Paris, DeJuan, Matt, Donovan, I don't think I've ever seen them play so well in their career. So um, for me, it's just been exciting to see what he's been able to do with our offensive line and the way he coaches and he approaches the game. He plays the game too every week. Um, it's kind of cool for me to see as a coach, he's, he's like on the sideline 
um, when we come off the field, like he's in his head playing the game with us. So it's a lot of fun to kind of see that. And um, we kind of thrive off that as we know that he's um, in it just like we are. And what's the biggest difference in his coaching style versus um, Scud's? Um, I think they both bring a lot to the table. Um, I think it's kind of um, nice having a fresh voice and uh, some fresh techniques that we're learning. But no, they're both great coaches. All right. Thank you, Luke. Appreciate it. Uh.